For me to want to get in the medical field, it took somebody to influence me. It's going to make you look to them like, oh, they can do it, I can do it too. I want to get a head start in life, and I need to take all the opportunities I can get. I hope to learn as much as I can and see if the field that I want to go to is the right one for me. Dr. Tomorrow gives young students from minority groups that are interested in medicine from the Detroit area an opportunity to explore the field and see what life as a physician might be like. The idea initially stemmed from Dr. Finks, our faculty advisor, and he basically, looking around the OR, saw the lack of diversity and wanted to do something about it. It started out as a means to bring in students from a high-achieving high school that were not necessarily having the exposures that other students were having into the allied health fields. We thought that if we could capture them when they were in ninth grade in this like very formative time where you can start building the academic skills that are gonna make you successful and building relationships with mentors that will help prepare you for future challenges of high school and college, that's where we're gonna have our most impact. We've only had one program so far, like the last month, but I've already learned so much and I'm looking forward to the next programs coming up. It's just an overall great experience and I feel like everyone should have it. I wish that someone talked to me when I was Brandon's age and, and told me that I was smart enough and capable to go to medical school because I didn't really have that uh, and it took me a long time to kind of find my way back to this point. It's actually pretty fun that I can interact with them and like know what they want to be and also they can help me know what I want to be and kind of narrow it down. I think it's really, really powerful that as first year medical students, we're able to influence these kids' lives in a way that maybe other people in their lives cannot. The first year curriculum consists of monthly clinical experiences at the University of Michigan Medical School. The high school students get to do so many cool things. Um, things that we didn't even get to do as our first year of medical school. They get time in the simulation center, they get to shadow physicians, they get time in our anatomy lab, they get to practice physical exam skills. So when we measure blood pressure, what we're measuring is how hard your blood is pumping through your arteries. And so the harder it pumps, the higher your blood pressure is gonna be. The most fun thing I've done so far was probably measure the heart rate using the stethoscope. I think this clinical tour was my favorite because we got to try out things like feel the pulse. I tried out the Da Vinci machine. It was very amazing because not a lot of kids or adults were able to use that machine. One of the great things about Doctors Tomorrow is that we're trying to build a sense of community and a sense of ownership of health issues. We get to see our mentees really take ownership of something that they're passionate about. And you can really see on their face how proud they are to accomplish something like this. We also want students to think about how they can be agents of change in their community, but that wasn't really coming through in this traditional research presentation mode. And so this past year, the leadership team really transformed these projects into the community action projects. For our capstone project, we are discussing health and equity. The project that we're working on is to prevent gun violence. The project that we're working on is how people can improve their health and exercise more. We had some small group cases where we worked through different ideas of how we could benefit the local communities around the area, and they just came up with great ideas about things that I had never even thought of. In these capstone presentations that are done at the end of their freshman year, it's just like a completely different person. It's really incredible to see this newfound confidence that they have. They come to us day one, they are incredibly timid, and then they're getting up there and they have so much pride. And they're talking about very, very difficult topics and being able to communicate that in a way that an audience can understand, I think it's really, really incredible to see. 
when I first thought I wanted to go into the medical field, I didn't think it was possible. I thought it was just like this big thing that like only a select type of people get into and like people like me couldn't really do it. But like now, like I'm seeing people that look like me doing great things and it's made me become more confident in myself. Like I know I can do things because they have and it's just like amazing. These are students who are our future doctors. They are thinking about their communities and they want to be leaders in their communities and we shouldn't let race, socioeconomic status, their current education background be reasons or barriers as to why they can't pursue their goals. The special thing about Doctors of Tomorrow is that it doesn't take much. It just takes time and energy. Everybody's willing to give passion to it. It's getting the students from Detroit to Michigan and making sure we have lunch for them when they come visit and summer opportunities for them to kind of explore their interests in the world of health and medicine. It's just the, those little kind of small tangible things that come with a dollar sign. Those are still the things that we need the most help with. We need to foster these students who want to be leaders in the healthcare field. We need to start doing that at an early age, and that's why this program needs to exist. Student success starts in their home and then their school system. When kids have the passion and the knowledge and the support from those two pillars, they just need one more mentor to get them to where they want to go. We had 20 Dr. Tomorrow students in our inaugural class four years ago and 19 of them are graduating from Cass Tech this year, and 10 of them will be coming to the University of Michigan. To have them go to a clinic and shadow a physician and bring them to campus and have them sit in the class with us, it makes this kind of otherwise completely foreign, seemingly out of reach concept real and tangible, and I think they kind of leave a doctor's tomorrow knowing that they can achieve that dream if they want to. What I want to be when I grow up is a sports doctor. What I want to be when I grow up is an orthopedic surgeon. I always wanted to be a pediatrician. I really hope to become a cardiologist. When I grow up, I want to be a dentist. All I know is that whatever I do in the future, I want to be happy and successful.